Ladies and gentlemen, what you're looking at here is my new baby. So I have adopted the plesiosaur opalized skeleton at the South Australian Museum. So there were 10 slots open. I was there the other week. I just like to check out the, uh, they've got an incredible opalized fossils exhibition that's just there permanently. And I'll pop up a bunch of photos of that and do a bit of a walkthrough of that with you guys in this video. But yeah, the key attraction of it is the plesiosaur. And yeah, I decided to adopt it as part of the channel. I've missed out on adopting the Virgin Rainbow Bellum Knight, which is on display at the art museum, at the art gallery. Unfortunately, that one only had one slot and it was taken. So instead I adopted the dinosaur. And to be honest, I would adopt that before anything else at the museum anyway. There's lots of other exhibitions that you can adopt. And basically your money just goes towards keeping the upkeep of that display. And I mean, there's no better display I've seen at a museum than the uh, opalized plesiosaur. They've done a really good job of it and this one here itself was dug up in Andamooka in 1968 and it's it's not super complete but it is it is really nice the way they've displayed it and the entire area is just really cool so yeah I've just chucked it all in a all in a little frame like this certificate. I took that photo when I was there the other week and then just a photo of what they actually look like if you're interested, there's a really good, like, short Plesiosaurs 101, I think by the Discovery Channel or something on YouTube. I can link it in the description. It, uh, it'll give you a quick rundown on them. They're just super, super cool, super cool, massive fish. Well, fish lizard kind of thing. I believe they were a reptile. And yeah, apparently swam around in the ocean when South Australia was a bit of an ocean. And if one dies and turns into an opal, uh, it's uh, super cool. Super cool and an incredible find, the find of a lifetime. By all means, if you're ever in Adelaide, go check it out. Hell, I work on site. It shares the same campus as the university, so if you're ever there and you want to go check it out, I am more than happy to go check it out with you because I go through that entire room once every couple of months just to check it out, see if anything new's happened, and just make sure that everything's looking good and well maintained. And now I'm contributing to it so that they can continue to maintain it. Funds are always tight and it's something that I think people should be able to see so I'm more than happy to contribute to that. Let's have a quick tour of the rest of the room. I took a bunch of photos and there are some incredible pieces. Some that you might not have even seen before so let's pop them up now. Welcome aboard. Let me show you through the South Australian Museum. So it's in the heart of Adelaide here just on the northern edge of the city blocks right near the major shop shopping centers and everything. So if you're over here, you'll be somewhere nearby anyway. But on Google Maps, what you can actually do is drive around like it's a road. So I'll just drop the little man onto the museum. And I know this place like the back of my hand. It actually looks a little bit different to what it's looking like here now, but the displays are still the same through here. So this is the Aboriginal area. If you go through there to the lifts, we just want to jump all the way up to the top floor and look at that. We're right in the room. If I just move us back towards the lift, so this is where you'll come out and you'll see the opal fossils room. It's a hell of a room. There's my adopted baby. And also if you go to the minerals section and we wrap around this hallway, you'll see that there's this little extra opal display around the corner here. And we'll just go through both of these quickly today. There it is right there. I know it's way too small a display. It doesn't even have a lot of Lightning Ridge stuff as you can see. It's mostly South Australian stuff, but it does have a little bit of Lightning Ridge and the Matrix Opals and all of that. But number one, let's see if you guys can guess what this is. This is one of the weirdest things and I really want to get some for my collection. They are sea lilies. So it's it's a really interesting little little opal. It's just one of those fossil replacements. It's kind of like a plant, but a creature at the same time. There's this beautiful display on cockle shells. And what it shows is the difference between working them real hard, like you can see here. The Of course, when there's colour, you need to find it anyway and dig it up. But you lose the features of the shell, and that's what this display shows. As we go further down, you'll see that the colour's less impressive, but by the time you get to the end, you've got all those nice, nice features just brushed off the little bit of dirt. Little hole there, of course, unfortunate. Here are my favorite tiny shells. There's a normal size one to the left, and then there's these micro ones. They're uh, very cool. Tiny little starfish things as well, and tiny little like crab claws or jaws or something. That I guess they're lizard jaws. And then you've got the Bellamite fossil display. I've got a lot more than that, so I'm beating the museum. Well, not really. I had a look at their storage, and they've got a lot more. A big backbone of a dolphin-like creature that's all opalized. You got your little sand snails and here they've actually got the little snail that was used in the opal 
opalized fossils collection for the stamps and coins, which is pretty cool. Some other shells, really weird ripply pattern ones. Fan shells, I've got a couple of those ones, nice big boys. Got the little hole because the snails ate them. Opalized wood, so a really nice one that shows that full wood-like feature. And then we go to the little cabinet and you've got different styles of opals from solids to triplets and doublets and carvings and they've even got some synthetic opal. Not very much synthetic, which is good, but they've got a little bit of it. Kubipedia and Amuka Mintibi. And then a lot of White Cliffs representation as well. And a little bit of Matrix. Not a lot of Lightning Ridge, not a lot of love there. But a few really nice big big display chunky pieces which I would really love. And there you have my super rapid tour of the South Australian Museum. Now while I was there I actually got toured backstage and had a look at a bunch of other stuff, got to dive into the vault, have a quick look in the safe and there are so many other interesting pieces on there. Pretty much nothing is on display compared to what they've got there. So there's certainly a chance that I can do a few more videos with them and maybe do some interviews and talk about some of the really unusual things they've got because that's always what's most interesting when it comes to Opal. But here it is, my little baby that I'm adopting and there are still a couple slots open for other people to adopt. There's up to 10 people for this one. So the exhibit's still got a couple slots left, probably about five of them or so, maybe a bit less. So if by all means you can join in and get your name up there next to it as well. You can uh, join me in adopting what is a wonderful display and a wonderful creature. But I'll see you in the next one guys where I will be carving a little piece of Mintibi or Cooper Petey, depends on which one works out better. See you guys.